So my dear friends, welcome again to the Adventure Store channel and today my dear friends we will continue our overview of engine room. We will see step by step most of the equipment and we will tell also and we will explain some tips. Thank you that you send your questions and I will try to answer them all. Thank you again. Also as you can see we have intermediate uh, valves here for regulate for our condenser most of the pumps uh, number three is used for the condenser because it's as much as closer and you have as much as a uh, pressure drop and also uh, don't forget that all the pumps that you have placed on the engine room number one number two or number three or other pumps between them they must have uh, the same running hours let's say this have 10 uh, running hours we has this have 20 and the other half zero we must also set in working that one with zero we must not have big differences a uh, thousand hours between the pumps and that shows that all the pumps are working equally and changed and always have in mind because i have seen some really really big and tremendous a difference with the pumps some thousand hours some uh, thousand hours that means in the lifetime of the ship six months uh, some pumps was, was working was working more than the other or sometimes and more and from that you understand that there is a reason for what uh, some engineers will not uh, use that pump there was some problem and that's why it was running uh, for some uh, for some uh, long time this is one point how you can understand uh, that a pump uh, have a problem before you uh, join your contract on, or on the first round that you are making on the engine we have also our fresh water generator uh, injector pumps here there is only one pump which uh, we have the suction the suction which comes uh, down below here of the pump is passing down the pump and coming here this is the suction this is the pipe here and the delivery also my dear friends we have a difference in the flanges here there is a different flanges here because in the suction we have 5k a flange and here we have 10k flange I don't remember the uh, the diameter but it's really uh, different it's something 150 and, and here it's 125 if I remember properly so also here you will need to make some checks for the corrosion flanges and here also all these must be checked also it's very good in uh, the dry dock if there's any problem to be changed that one and it's much much better for the engineers they will have more time to do something else uh, on the engine room because the time always it's limited and always there is something happen we have also our condensate pumps here which uh, drag the condensate from the condenser and deliver it to our uh, gasket tank. Uh, the water, which is already cooled down and before was steam, is accumulated on the bottom of the condenser, and also there is controller, a level controller, which controls uh, the level inside for the reason to protect also the tubes and also to protect the pumps to have always a uh, suction that's why also these pumps is placed on the bottom and below down so they will have always a positive pressure suction and will avoid the cavitational uh, effects we have seen also our condenser pipe uh, pump number two 
which is located uh, close there we use only one pump that is true we use only one pump when operating uh, and we have also our scrubber cooling pump seawater pump close there and here located our uh, condensate pump here we have our scrubber tower and this cooling pump will send the water high enough from the bottom of the engine room until uh, the top of the boilers will spray the water and will cool down the inert gases which coming from the boiler uh, exhaust gases will cool down them will clean them and uh, the gases cleaned already will be draw by the uh, IGS fans IGS uh, fans and will supply uh, to the deck to the deck through the deck seal and uh, non return valve on the deck so next close to the scrubber cooling pump we have our number one bilge fire pump and general service I like it calls to be because this pump can use also for the bilges for the emergency bilges and as you have seen we have signs all around and this uh, these valves it's locked with a seal there is also a specified list which we will need to follow and update and only in emergency because it's right here also only the emergency build suction must be used in case that uh, you have a flood of engine room of something like that so the emergency suctions located here it drags from the bilge direct and that's why the reason we need to have our bilge well uh, clean enough to avoid any damage to the pumps also to make also contamination uh, of the seawater and as we know the marble regulations is strict enough so we must respect also the environment first of all and the laws that have made so let's move on to the next picture so we have told that this pump can suction from bilges can use for the fight the fire pump uh, fires and also can be used as general service pump to fill the after peak tank and also for some washing also supply washing to anchor wash system uh, and more so as you can see here sex, uh, suction emergency uh, also there is a valve number it's really really easy to locate and also my dear friends be sure that these covers are not stuck uh, by the paint because sometimes what is happening somebody painted new and all the paint have stuck uh, these covers and it's really really difficult to open them if you will try to run at the moment that the emergency situation uh, happened it will be already a big loss of time and that is sure so as you can see here we have stenciled uh, the pumps with the names the original names that uh, was before because always you can uh, find from somewhere to be paint some different colors some change colors or some uh, even no names on, on them but really all the pumps uh, must have the names uh, as it was on uh, from manufacturing as you can see we have some uh, third engineers or oilers also will help third engineer to make uh, such stencils we have a lot of stencils on board and this is the bilge suction uh, which is used from the normal suction of the bilges 
to bilge holding tank from the bilges and what we have uh, posted here keep bilges dry and clean at all times this is really really important uh, okay it's uh, some job for the oilers but it must be done my dear friends also we must have a fire key a f key here for the reason that uh, if a valve uh, needs additional uh, power to open but always with careful open such valves so my dear friends we will continue next with uh, more images and we will discuss together uh, more and more things thank you that you have stayed tuned to adventure store channel don't forget to subscribe and to press the bell button and also don't forget to check the previous videos don't forget to subscribe to the abyss platform and the link below that i invite you also there i, I will be really really pleased that you will join there and also we will make a good team there thank you again and bye bye from adventure story